Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Violet. Last episode we took down the first Team Star boss and oh man it was awesome. So our uh, Nackley was the MVP going through the first battle we do like the let's go mode and take down 30 Pokemon. And then our Dutch Bun, our newly evolved uh, form of Fido, came in clutch. It had the ability own tempo, but when it evolved the ability changed and oh, lo and behold we had an ability that basically stopped us from getting hurt from fire type moves against a giant fire car, which was uh, great. We got well-baked body. So the Pokemon takes no damage when hit by fire type moves. Instead, its defense stat is sharply boosted. It was so clutch. Right, so today we're going to head out the east gate, which if I look, I don't think it's that way. I think we want to go this way. And then we're going to go take on the bug type gym. So this is where we could have gone at the very start of the game if we uh, kind of chose the gym challenge first. Just the way we went was easier because it had a uh, oh just crash into the pole. <laughs> we had a we had a gym, we had a Titan bout, and we had a Team Star boss. So um, everything's looking good. Also, the director has um, put a disguise on, becoming Clive, and they're helping us take down Team um, Team Star, which is great. So let's look at the map. Going to be checking out the west side. And I always press the wrong button for the map. We're going to the Pokedex first, but we rotate this. There you go. Alright, so we're going to be heading over here, so I'm going to set this to the destination. So I think we'll do this gym, and then we'll start to head down here towards the Psychic Town, and see how tough the enemies are going to be around here, because I think if we went north towards the Electric Gym Leader, I think it would be a bit too difficult, because the levels around here were getting a little bit too high. So if we go this way, take you out at least, maybe find some new Pokemon on the way, that would be pretty awesome. So let's have a little look around. See what we can get. There's a TM up there. Can we maybe boost? Whoop. Oh man. Maybe I get a boost and a jump. I'm not sure that would actually work. If it does work, then we can get that. Or we can probably just go the long way around and nope. Okay. Yeah, let's go the long way around. Probably just go around here and there's a way up. Battle some trainers on the way as well. Uh, actually, I don't think we can... No, we can get up. We just need to go uh, kind of a long way. Unless we just go up like this. Oh, dude. Just let me go up, please. I know at some point we can start climbing with my ride on, but we're going to have to do a few more Titan battles to get some more upgrades, because I'm guessing we'll unlock Fly-In, Rock Climb, Surf, and that's three more abilities. Maybe one more after that. Oh, Smoliv. Hey, we finally found it. Nice. I've got to say, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like olives. I... Oh, it's level 7. I personally hate them. I hate the smell. I hate the taste. I hate everything about them. Jasmine, my girlfriend, loves them. And whenever she gets them in the fridge and I just I smell them, I'm like, Whoa, Nope. Cannot. Do not like olives at all. Alright. So the fact this is level 3 makes me think we probably don't want to battle the trainers around here. It might be a little bit too weak. Well, I'll battle one just to see. Uh, Alright, so careless. Alright, let's see. Hey, yo, I can't believe I've got to buy ingredients. Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. Alright, let's go. I love how Marie's just like, oh, I want to watch this battle. Actually, didn't mind. <laughs> Alright. So if the... Oh, it's going to be so weak. If the level is really low... Oh, like, I know it says you can go wherever you want, but it really feels like you should go and do the bug gym first then, and then go the way we went. Because level-wise, this would be... We were slightly under-leveled when we went to the... went to the east side, but because I was over-leveling where we were at the point of the game before getting to the academy, we were just like, you know, we weren't too bad. So we should have came this way first, I think. Oh, man. So even though it is open world, it does kind of feel like there is a set path the game kind of wants you to take. Maybe we'll get better a little bit later on. So we're probably going to breeze through this area. Go take down the bug type Jimmy who's going to be easy because we got Nackley, we got um, Charcadet. It's going to be... Very easy. I also want to climb the tower as well. Got Paralyzed Heal. Nice. 
Got a Sunkern. Where's them Gen 9 Pokemon at, man? Show me some new Pokemon to see. I'm so down to catch some new stuff. Just, I just want to see like that type in and just everything about them, the Pokedex entries. Just find it so interesting. And what TM do we have here? Protect. Oh, that's actually not bad. I mean, there's a TM over here. You've got Mareeps, you've got Smolives, Fletchling. I mean, if you want to have an easy time with the gym and you're first coming here, I guess a Fletchling would be a great Pokemon to get. And can I actually not... I can't get this TM yet. You need a bit of get away up there, which we can't at the moment. Like I said, the boost is so nice. I'm just like boost around. All right, so, uh, ooh. I think, oh, we'll grab the TM. Got the tower. And then we'll go and uh, just quickly do the gym, which I think is going to be very easy. Especially compared to last gym. I mean, the last gym was pretty easy as well. So it would have given us a little bit of trouble. Apart from that. I still want to find that regional bird. The one we saw in the, like, the intro like uh, cutscenes. It looks like it's going to be like electric. Like a flying electric would be cool. What have we got up here? Probably another Gimme Gore, I'm assuming. Oh, there's a TM. We'll get that on the way down. Alright, what have we got up here? Yeah, another Gimme Gore. Okay. I'll catch another one, why not? I do like this Pokemon, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, I feel like I'm going to kill it in one hit. The level difference. Voided the attack. Uh, actually, maybe Mudshot might, do, might be a little bit better here. If I kill it, it doesn't matter because we caught one already. Oh no, we're good, we're good. I'm not sure if you catch it, if you get the coins or not, because we found some coins like around the, uh, the areas. I'm not sure if catching them actually gives you more. Or we'll just catch one and maybe you can hold a coin or something. Just in case. Oh, you're going to break free. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. No, if, if I hit you again, you are super dead. Let's go for a great ball. Oh, is that critical capture? Yeah. It shook just before like, um, it did the proper roll. Too bad, not too bad. Alright, check there. Oh yeah, you got you get 50 coins for catching one of them. Okay. That's good. So I do wonder if you get 50 coins if you take it out as well. I'm not sure if you've got to catch it or not. I got an electro ball. Let's just uh, jump down. Whee! Okay. Heal powder, sweet. A little combi. Oh, you got a truck. Is Mew under the truck? <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Alright, what Pokemon's got that Terra type here? Oh, I didn't see a small. You're so small. Uh, let's just run away. It's like not really much point taking these out. The experience will be so little. You got to diglet. That's cool. Should we check out what the raid is around here? Might be a good raid we can do. So there's a Mankey. Uh, is that poison? So let's challenge it. I think that's poison. I've been told as well, Mankey or Primeape has an evolution in this game. Which uh, I don't know how to get, but if we catch this, then I can try and work on one, I guess. But once we got some space on our team. Was that normal? Does it say what the type is apart from the colors and picture? Because I suck at judging by the picture. Alright, 
We're gonna go for a rock throw. I do love the music in these like raid battles though. Oh no, you're doing so much damage, Mankey. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Like, I always compare Pokemon games with like Sonic games. Like every single game, even if the game isn't like, up to like the standard I think it should be, the music is always is always up there. Like the composers for Pokemon and Sonic and some of the games, just, they just go hard. Nice, nice. Now we've got this uh, battle in the bag easy. Let's keep going, much shot. Lower that speed. Ooh, Brick Break's gonna hurt a little bit. It's all good, Nackley. It's all good. The one thing I do love about these raid battles as well, it's like a little bit easier than like the Dynamax raid battles, because if you get fainted, you do come back. Which is super nice. Alright, so is that it? Let's go, we're getting you, Mankey. Hey, let's go. Are raid battle Pokemon always guaranteed captures? Be good if they are. We've got a nice Mankey. Which, uh... Yeah. Welcome to trying to evolve that. A little bit later on. Small lives. Any other cool. Oh, Diglett. Hard to see some of these Pokemon, they're just so tiny. Like, you're looking around the map trying to see, like, if you can. Oh, you got Arena Trap. Oh, you're the worst. Hey, yeah, basically, look, basically looking around the map, seeing if you can see, like, any little detail, any Pokemon you want to go for, any item. And these little, like, Diglett Small lives just, like, in the way, and you just don't notice, and then bam, run right into them. Alright. We'll get to town, and we'll go explore, and hopefully, uh,. There's more to it, because the last town, it looked nice, but there just wasn't really anything to do, apart from just go and do the gym. All right, let's get healed up. The bug type leader gonna get absolutely destroyed. Oh, is there? Let me look at that again. The silhouette for one of the adverts on the topic, kind on the left. It might be the hairstyle, but it. It, it kind of reminds me of Riley, his hat. I feel like Riley's hat might be bigger. All right, so what we've got around here. Got a bread shop. Soups. We're we going here. I don't think you're going to like the random buildings. So I guess we just go for the gym. Although this place looks really cool. Are these dream catchers. Oh, no one took the lady. Hey yo. So I reckon them recommend them all. <laughs> so I can't speak to her. That's good business. Which one do you recommend? I recommend you buy them all. They're all brilliant. Can't go wrong whichever one, but I, if you want to be the best salesman, you recommend the most expensive one. And make all that profit. Let's go and do this gym, shall we? Then we can make our way to the psychic gym, which I, I don't know if it's going to be too powerful because it's like area six, but we'll see. Ah, Fultzy. It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time, again. What a weird coincidence. 
I swear I'm not just uh, sneaking ahead of you so I can lie in wait and, and go, oh wow, weird, might as well battle now that you're here. <laughs> no seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time, much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon, they've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Oh, free ethers, thank you. I'll be cheering for you, I'll go train, like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Go train 20 Pokemon at once, wow that's, uh, that's a lot, but welcome to the uh, Cortondo Gym. Let me reach to you as a challenger, your name is Voltsy, yes? That is correct. Great, now in order to face gym leader Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the uh, Cortondo Gym, that means taking on the Olive Roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year too. The staff over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your uh, map app, it's just north of town. Now get out there and have fun. Alright, I will do. I mean the last one finding the sunflora was pretty cool. I mean I overcomplicated it so much, but <laughs> uh, let's see what we do here. Alright, so take part in the olive roll. Just north of town, so this is north. Oop. Jump in someone's back garden. Oop. And jump out of it. So area two, south province. Hey yo. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles and then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Uh, yeah, sounds fun. Great, put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. Just keep rolling, 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 what? Just keep rolling, rolling. I haven't heard that song in like years. Very long time. <laughs> oh, okay, so I should push in a giant olive. All right, let's get pushing. Take on the olive roll challenge. Two, one, go. <laughs> All right. It's very bouncy. Uh, this way. Don't really want to fight the trainers because I thought they're gonna be too uh too weak. Oh. Ah. There's no time limit. Oh wow, I just uh bounced it. I wonder, can I do this? Oh my god, I can. Oh my god, that's the best way to do it. You just bounce it over. Can I like whoop? Quick, quick, up. <laughs> oh my god, it feels like cheating. You can just use these are just to push it. Oh my god. Oh. Hey. That was, um. That was super easy. Hey, you passed. Passed with flying colors. Might cheat a little bit, but <laughs> it's fine. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations! Please report your result to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Oh, thanks. All right. Got some inkly buff around here. Any other cool Pokemon? Oh my God, look how many Jigglypuff there are. So many. <laughs> That's a lot of Jigglypuff. More? Wow. I don't think I've ever seen so many Jigglypuff in my life. Whoa. Just gonna jump over everything. <laughs> oh, I feel like you can really break this game if you really want. Hey yo, let's go take on the gym leader then, shall we? So welcome back, Volti. I hear you're on a roll out there. A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Okay, are you ready to challenge gym leader Katie, the sugar bug? Mmm, absolutely. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Please do. It's gonna be like the easiest battle we've probably done in this game.
Eat up my cute little pavilion. Oh, if you send that out, it's going to get absolutely destroyed. But the gym leader looks really cool. Love her design. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie and I am the owner here at the Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cotondo Gym right now. Forgive me. <clears throat> my name is Katie and I am the gym leader here in Cotondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Ooh. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite, bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Uh, both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. I'll be honest, my guard is super down because I don't expect you to be difficult. Unless they bump up the levels. Alright, nimble. I mean, even if you bump the levels, we're still fine. Don't take my bug Pokemon lightly. You'll be in a world of pain if you do. It's level 14, yeah. We should have probably come here first. But it just defeats the objective, like, saying you can go anywhere you want. And then just, like, not kind of up in the levels. Like, if I took, took down the first leader, every leader should have, like, their levels changed and team changed. Like, if I took her on last, she should have, like, a level 50, 60 team. I feel like she should keep the same. Nice. Actually, we might grow a level for uh, Nackley. I do like this little spider. It's kind of cute. As much as I hate bug Pokemon, this is, is very cute. Oh, a critical hit. Oh, rubbing that salt in the wound, man. <laughs> Does not need to be this easy. Hey, right, let's go 25. Let's learn recover. Now I'm good. And Teddy Ursa. Oh, okay. So I guess there's a Teddy Ursa with a Terra type. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? By surrendering. All right, let's go Rock Throw. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. I do love when the music kicks in. And it suits Teddy Ursa really well. <laughs> but what would be a good idea though, is if you want to like go west first, catch a Char Cadet, catch a Nackley, and then just come back this way and you can take on the Bug Leader with like these Pokemon make it so much easier. Not that it's going to be hard anyway. Let's do that. Got a Thundershock for Spark. Look at my little duties. Oh, he's so cute. All of my sweet little Pokemon drop like flies. Oh, we're evolving! Ah! Please look good. My little Super Mario Mushrooms are evolving. It looks like a Minecraft block. <laughs> Knuckle, Knuckle Stack? I actually like this so much. This is easily becoming my favorite rock type Pokemon. So it compresses rock salt inside his body and shoots out hardened salt pellets with enough force to uh, perforate an iron sheet. Wow. It's gotta have one more evolution. I'm thinking it's got like, like a golem, but it's got Salt Cure. Gets in a signature move. The user Salt Cure is the target inflicting damage every time. Oh, Steel and Water types are more strongly affected by this. Oh, wow. So when we take on the Water Gym Leader, which we could do pretty soon, that will do even more damage. This is actually, I like this Pokemon so much. Look at it. Oh, this is so sick. A little mushroom mate looking like it's something out of Minecraft now. So your strength throws are during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to welcome my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, 
Allow me to present you with this gym badge. Hope you enjoy it alongside a heaping seven of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Those cupcakes do look really nice. So with two gym badges in your possession, a Pokemon to level 30 will be easy to catch and will listen to your commands as well. As you have quite the appetite as well, how about a little TM as the frosting of this cake? Got Pounce. The user attacks by Pounce on the target, this also lowers the target's speed stat. Okay, cool. So once you've found a TM during your travels, you can use them as a, uh, at a TM machine to make copies of that TM. Didn't know that, right? I did. Wish you luck in your future adventures, and may they be as sweet and lovely as good dessert. Off you go then, until we meet again. All right, so that's the uh, second gym done. So let me have a little look around the map. So I think the closest thing next to do would be the, uh, oh, pardon me, would you be Volty? Been hearing so much about. Uh, hi. Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, I, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is, Hassel? I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League, oh, okay. I also teach art classes at the Academy. All the um, the teachers I saw looked really awesome. Do you think maybe all the Elite Four are teachers in this game? So, do tell me, young Voltsy. What compelled you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Uh, my friend asked me to. For fun, I, I guess? Asked and answered, thank you. Naturally, there's no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champ champion rank in all of Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You'd be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I'd be thrilled to have you attend. Okay, so can we actually, yeah, look, a language class is available to take an art class. So we can actually go back to the school and take on classes? Because when we first like finished our first lesson, it is like math class and stuff is available. So I'm thinking I kind of want to go back to school and see what these classes are like. So uh, let's go map. See, I was thinking we should go here next. A cool looking area to explore. There's a question mark as well. So how will we get there? I guess we probably go on the outside and go around like that, or we can maybe just go up. Uh, it depends if we can get to this place, because it looks quite high up. But let me go and see if I can take some classes. Because that sounds really interesting. Can you imagine if it's actually like proper school classes, like actually take math, maths class and just... <laughs> Alright, what's 2 plus 2? Oh no, I can't do it! Got language class. I mean, I still remember a teensy bit of Spanish from when I uh, took it in high school. I only took it for a year, but... I remember, um... Me llamo Hayden. Uh, el tiempo es muy bien. Uh, donde ellas... Gala region. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at the Gengar. That's cool. And then 1 to 10 is, I think, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, siete, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I think. Probably butchered that, but yeah. Like I said, I ain't, I ain't taking Spanish in 15, 16 years. There's a lot in the nurse's office. Oh. That one's got a character portrait. Let's go here and see the nurse. Oh, hello. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Um, uh, yeah. Wait, is this your first time here, isn't it? Yes. Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Voltsy, right? Everybody's been talking about you. Yeah, I'm just that awesome. I've heard all kinds of rumours. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. 
I even picked a fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you've uh, started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kind of bored just sitting here all day, you know? Don't have any classes to teach. And students only come here to skip class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. You became slightly closer with Nurse Miriam. Okay. Nice. A little, little Toxel. A nice little Pikachu Eevee. Ah, oh, Flaffy. So can I talk to you again and find something out? Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome to the nurse's office. Hmm? Voltsy, have you toughened up a bit? Yes, I have. Oh, so you know your tough stuff, huh? Hm. But seriously, you look a bit different. I bet it's because of the, all the crazy experiences you've, you're having on your treasure hunt. You tell me all about it when you've been up, what you've been up to. I've been up to, you know, this and that. Wow, that's super cool, right? Uh, I sure am jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand, I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know? I can't teach classes or anything like that. I couldn't pass the certification exam to become an actual health teacher. I took it so many times, but no luck. So here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry, I guess this isn't a very fun thing to talk about. You're just such a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. Hope you'll still come to see me even if I talk your ear off like this. I don't mind. So can we talk to her again? So are you tired? Why not lie down and have a quick rest? Oh, okay, so... Once we make more progress for the game, we just come back. Look at the rolls, man. And just, oh. So cute. Oh, okay. Another professor there. Look at the director. So how do we take these classes? Oh, I want to speak to the teachers, just get some uh, affinity up. Oh, what's up with the Murkrow? Hey, yo. Ah, hello, hello. Have you gotten used to things here at the Academy Vault I have. Kind of. Great, glad to see you having fun. Oh, have you been using the Pokedex app? Uh, a little bit. I'm, uh, <laughs> more we made it, you know? Every time someone uses the app, catches a Pokemon, the data gets sent to me. It's really helpful with my Pokemon research. Be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling your Pokedex. So for your first goal, let's aim for, say, 30. Register 30 Pokemon in your app. Have I done 30? I don't know if I've done 30. Uh... Wait, wrong button. I've done 23. Ah, getting close. So when you complete the Pokedex, you've got to talk to him then, 100%. All right, so let's go and talk to the director. Hey, yo. How's it going? Dude, you got to get a new desk. It makes you look so tiny. We'll get like a higher chair or something, but oh, wait, hello, Master Voltsy. How's your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope? Uh, yeah, it's been great. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course of criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Oh, speaking of such pursuits, there has been something on my mind of late. If I could ask for your expertise on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. Maybe it is to be some sort of slang. Oh, you're asking the wrong guy, buddy. I am bad with slang. But uh, tell me, what does... Chuji ch mean? I have... Uh... I, what? I'm gonna Google that. What does that mean? Is that like a thing people say now? I have never heard that in my life. Uh... So it's coined in 2013, allegedly by Zoomers, okay, uh, of lifestyle trends associated with the early 2010s and millennials. The aesthetic has been described as the opposite of trendy or trying too hard. So being outdated and uncool, I guess? Ah, I think I understand, for both speaker and recipient. It isn't a pleasant word, I take it. The words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my compre- Me! That's- that is me! That is how I feel! 
like, I swear, like, every week there's a brand new word someone says, I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying, dude. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel much closer to my students. When I find the meaning, I just feel much further away from everything, but I am most grateful to you for your help on the front. Okay. <laughs> Can we talk to you again? Uh, no, okay. So, how do we take a class then? Got art room, home ec. Uh, so let me go to the art room. Try and take an art class with Elite Four member. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is really cool. Challenging the gyms is important, of course, but one must not neglect their studies. Okay, can I, how do I take the art class? Am I actually going to do art or something? I'm not going to lie, these drawings are pretty good. Better than anything I can do. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm not sure if we actually take a class or not, but it's, it's, cool, it's still cool to like look around. I can't ride my ride on here, that's fine. Oh, where do you want to go? Uh, entrance hall. So I think it's a great place to end this part off. Next episode, I think we'll start off um, by the bug gym. I should maybe I'll go there now, just to see if we can get to the psychic gym, because if I can get to it, then that's what we can do next episode. If not, I need to plan something else to do. So let's go... So weird when the camera just rotates. So let's go over here. And we can see how strong the Pokemon are as well. Maybe. Maybe find some new ones. Always cool seeing like brand new Pokemon. Alright. So uh, I probably should set it as a destination just to make it easier to get to. Alright, so let's set as destination. So we want to go this way. What is that? Is that a new Pokemon? Oh, what are you? Mastiff, okay. Got Intimidate. What's level 10? Uh, just throw a ball so we can get it. That's what I mean, just go, go to like a new area, just find a new Pokemon, it's, it's so exciting. Oh, it's gonna break out right away. I must say, this doesn't look like a Pokemon to me. Like, you know when you first saw Greedon and it didn't, just didn't feel like a Pokemon? It just felt like something out of a Pixar movie or Disney movie or something. It just looks like it's just like a generic cartoon. Nice. It's gotta be normal type, right? That's the vibe I get. This is... Oh, it's dark type. Its well-developed jaw and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders. This thick fat makes for an excellent defense. Not bad. Okay. Alright, let's go. Glad I came back here and found that. That's more. Uh, let's see. That's my reap. So... I can't get across that then. So we're going to have to find a new way to get across. So if we are... Here. We can't get across there. Unless we go round. But even then we... Can't climb up there unless there's that cave we can maybe go through. And that could maybe take us up there. But I say, first of all, we should go try this way. So let me just set this as a destination so I can just get there easier. And we can see how strong the Pokemon are as well. Ideally, it would be a good idea to take on the next Titan just to get the upgrade. So like I said, if we can just like either surf, fly, or rock climb, it opens up so much... Potential. Oh, Fanfi, I was just trying to get the item. 
But what level are you? Level 15, okay. I actually love this, like, little salt Pokemon. So cool. Give me that flinch. Oh, or well not. Critical hit. I'll take that instead. <laughs> much better. Much, much better. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, what is that? Is that new, that's a new poke? What is this? Oh, it's got like a, like, shell on its head? Caps a kid. Okay. Uh, let's go for a headbutt. I don't think we'll kill it with this. Nice. Got the flinch as well. Alright, brand new Pokemon. It's got to be flying type? Looks like a bird to me. Kinda of cute. Alright, let's go Pokeball. Come on. Oh, I thought I had it. Alright. Gonna go for one more if it breaks out. I'll touch when I do catch it. And I'm thinking I might add this to the team to switch out one Pokemon. I don't want to switch it out, but because of it's it's final evolution, it probably should. But yeah, I'll cut when we catch this. Wait, there we go, we got it. Okay. Hey, Chalked at level 23, so what are you? Oh, you're grass, a spicy pepper Pokemon. Traditional Paldean, Paldean dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the sh shed front teeth. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, eating teeth? Ugh, no. Oh, that's disgusting. That is no, oh, that is not what I thought, but a little rock rough, eh, oh. Uh, I'm just gonna run away from you, don't need to battle you. We good, we good. Alright, uh, so we wanna go, continue going this way? Wait, no, yeah, you need to go up still. Why, why do I feel like pressing the, the back button for the map is better than pressing pressing Y? Okay, yeah, so we need to keep going up. But let's quickly go down this way just in case we can find like some cool Pokemon. There's a cave I want to go in as well. Okay. How? I didn't even touch you, did I? Dude, I don't want to battle. It's exploring time. Find some cool stuff. I think my worst fear in this game right now is just to like end up going past like a really cool Pokemon. Alright, let's go down here. Some of them are just so tiny. go down there at some point. Oh, this is taking us a completely different way. Let's go back. Don't want to get too distracted and too lost. Uh, let's grab that 100%. Oh, what's that? Oh! Oh, what are you? Ugh. <laughs> oh, like a flying tadpole? Can I even... Oh, it's on the other side. Oh no, there's, there's one! Hey! You look at a light bulb and a tadpole! Tadpole! <laughs> I mean... It, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, it looks like a light bulb, it looks like a tadpole. Tadpole. Just the easiest name for a Pokemon you could ever come up with. Oh my god. This is funny. Nice, okay, we got it. So, oh, I'm gonna say water electric. It's gotta go into- oh! Could this be the thing that, um, the electric gym leader had for the trailer? Like the pre-evolution? That's cool. 
All right. Uh, I'm glad I came down here. Just a little bit of exploring. You find some new Pokemon. It's so awesome. But I just know, like, at different times of day, there's going to be, like, different Pokemon spawning. Just got to hope we can find as many as we can. That's just a cutie fly? That's not a cutie fly. Hey, what is... Oh, what is this? Hey, oh, a little. I thought that was a cutie fly at first. It's, it's good thing I went and investigated, because... Yeah, obviously it wasn't. And here I was about to end the episode off earlier, and bam. Finding, what, three new Pokemon now? Oh, that was close. That was so close. Oh, how do you how do you break out, dude? You got like no HP. All I can say is so far, like obviously our starter, Charcadet, because the evolution is amazing. And this like salt Pokemon are probably gonna be permanent team members of my team. Everything else I don't mind changing up. Alright, so what is this? Oh, it's psychic type! Spends his time running around wastelands if anyone steals his beloved berries or chase them down and extract his revenge. Oh, I'm liking the sound of this. Let's add this to the team. Uh, oh, Dodge, but I love you so much. You are so cool, but we've seen your evolution now. I'll put you away. Maybe you'll come back at some point. Go see what other things evolve into. Uh, revive, nice. Any more new Pokemon potentially add to the team? Actually, I know one Pokemon I definitely want to add to the team and keep, and that's going to be Giraffe Rig. I think the evolution is so cool. Alright, uh, oh, no, that's the little thing. It's a Swablu. You old news, man. You six gen six generations ago, Swablu was that just? Saying it like that just feels makes me feel so old. Remember Swablu being brand new, thinking, oh, this is this is the bee's knees, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we want to go this way. Mm, so now we're going to be on the other side. You've arrived at your destination. Let me lead off with you. I haven't led off with you in a while. And then we're gonna just add a new destination. So we are. Yeah, now we wanna go. How... I don't know if we can get up here. Let's set it for like here and see where it takes us. And I'll battle this dude just to see how tough he is. Hey there. Hey, I'm hitchhiking. Can I catch a ride on your Pokemon? Uh, no. Absolutely not. What you got for us? Fungus! Right, let's go for, the, uh, for a bite. You're level 14, so I think this is like... Definitely the sort of right way we want to go. So I feel like that the ideal way to go at the moment from what I can see is go and do the bug gym first, come this way to go to the psychic gym if you can get there, then go to the other side to the titan, then the grass gym, and then um, the team star base. To me that's the ideal way to go if you don't want to be like over leveled or under leveled or, or what. Alright. Got a nice little Mankey, which we have because we've got one from the raid. Ooh, rare bone. Alright, we'll definitely get healed up. I feel like I could just explore this place forever. It's gonna be so much better to explore one when we can fly and just go around places and go, oh look, let's land there. I just want to find more mysteries. Oh. That's the best thing about a new Pokemon game, when just, just, you don't know anything, you just want to explore everything you see. 
All right, let's go. Just want to see, is that the town over there? You can see in the distance. I think that might be the way we want to go. Hey, you want to battle? If I win? Yeah, if you win what? If you win what? If I win, you're going to buy my CD. Do people still make CDs? <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen a physical CD in a very long time. That being said, like... Can Playstations and stuff? Playstation and Xbox still play... Like, can they play music from CDs? If they can, then I, I can have either way to play music. If not, then... I don't. What, no one buys CDs anymore? And the closest thing I buy, I got I get vinyls, because I've got a vinyl player. Some nice records, but that's about it. Alright. I like all the different size mankeys, man. So cool. Alright, so there is like a giant I feel like we, we go through the cave and it will take us to where we need to go. Oh, you're a kid. I thought that was a Pokemon for a second. Uh, I'm gonna go on the up a bit. Oh, you're the bug Pokemon. I saw it for a second and was thinking, oh, we well, can get Nackley here. Yeah, I love Nackley. I'm, just, I'm really happy as well. There's a lot of Pokemon in this game, like new Pokemon. Whenever a new Pokemon game comes out, I like using the, the newer ones, just to give them a try. But, I like this game has a lot, and I mean a lot of new Pokemon, that I like the look of at the very start of the game. Past few generations has been a lot I like, but it's you can't get them till late game, or post game. At that point I'm just like, I'm done with the game now. <laughs> uh, just call a flying taxi, oh okay. I just want to see how tough you are. You a Pokemon trainer? Flying taxi fees are way for trainers. It really feels like if you're a trainer in the Pokemon world, you just get the best life possible. I feel like a, just a, a working Joe. Oof. I suck. Level 20. Okay, so we're getting to like a good sort of, you know, level gap now between us and the trainers. Need that flinch. Oh man, I need this flinch. If I don't get this flinch, it's gonna hurt really bad, I can probably die. Come on, please, please. Please flinch. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I lived! Should have flinched, oh, sorry, I should have uh, switched out ages ago, but I just thought, if I get one flinch, I am golden. And I, uh, I did not. All right, one next, one next. A squawkabilly, oh, that's the, um, the different color bird. So I've caught a green one, I've caught a blue one, I think there's a yellow and a white one as well. Gotta check the loading screen again. I feel like when you take it to fly in taxi, look on the bottom right, you can see the different colours. That's a green one. Alright, let's go Spark! Easy peasy, there's a team that we'll quickly grab. Hey, level 18. <laughs> You're most definitely a trainer, alright? 3,200 prize money? Woo! Dude's rich! Do kind of want to jump down there just to, just for a bit of fun. Alright, so let's jump down here. Should we see what the raid is as well, just in case it's like something we can do? Could be fun. That was a whole bit, no thanks. Grab that, so let's start going through here. This. Oh, is a. Gimme call there. To Alfonada. Oh, is there Toxtricities in here? Oh, what do I feel like it's gonna be? Strong Pokemon. Alright, so this is now past area 6. 39. Oh! I don't think we wanna go this way. Yeah, this is just like, not the area, so we do not want to go to the Psychic Gym right now. 
I knew seeing toxicity that was going to be an issue, but I just had to double check just in case they were like. They're level like 28, 29. Won't be too bad, but. Yeah, we do not want to go that way. So then, which way do we want to go? Get a bag on there. So. We'll come back here when we're, get, when we're near 40. I think the next thing to do is. It's got to be the Titan then, no? Because that's so close to here. Is that the bridge we can get to? Yeah. So we 100% take on the Titan next. So let's set that as destination. And then we'll fly here. So now I'm going to end this part, part off right here. And next episode, we'll go take on the second Titan. Because that is definitely where we need to go to next. Alright. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.